Welcome, poets. This is Poem A Day. My name is James Tyner. I'm a librarian with Fresno County Public Library, and I'm also Fresno's first poet laureate. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Poem A Day is going to run throughout the month of April, and it's a small program where we read a poem from a local poet. So all of these will be Central Valley Fresno poets. Uh, the hope is that we can inspire you, um, let you know all the wonderful writers that are in this area, what they're doing, and hopefully you can write some yourself, be inspired to write your on your own. Um, to go along with that, uh, Fresno County Public Library is currently doing a poetry pro um, contest. So you can submit your own work that you've written and you might win a prize. There's w great judges, uh, local judges that'll be um, uh, going through those pieces. We have different categories, different age groups. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, something to do, uh, get, get involved and I hope to see your work, so my hope is that today will inspire you to do some writing. Um, for the very first one, we are going to read a poem from one of my favorite poets. Uh, he is a Fresno writer, his name is Sol Vang. Um, when I was first learning about poetry in the late 90s, I believe he was a graduate student at that time at Fresno State, and I was uh, taking a class and they read some of his work in my class, in the undergraduate class, and I, I was stunned. Um, I got to hear him read, um, and he's always at local readings. He's always helping others, inspiring others. Um, great poet. He's also a veteran. He's uh, a family man, a father, um, just a local hero, someone I, I, I truly enjoy in his uh, reading. If you'd like to learn more about him, uh, some of his books include a Song of the Cluster Bomblet and To Live Here. He was also one of the founding members for the Hmong American Writer Circle. Uh, they have a book called How Do I Begin? Um, and he was very much uh, a part of getting that formed and getting that going. Um, and it's just inspired so many of us writers. So as I read his poem today, uh, just keep an eye out. He, he uses um, oftentimes what are very considered like simple images, but the way he uses them gives them uh, much more of a depth and a meaning. Um, so I hope you enjoy this one. And let's go ahead and read this. And this is called Learning to Eat the Kumquat by Solvang. And a link to the poem will be below. Uh, also, we'll have a link to his website for, with more information as well. So this is Learning to Eat the Kumquat. I planted the tree out of curiosity. The year we moved to this new house, two years after our older son was born with frontal cortex injury, one year before our second son was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. I first planted it in the shade, under the grape arbor, then transplanted it the next year to the far side of the yard, where each year it has grown more bushy and bore more and more of its brilliant yellow pearls that we would try to eat, peeling the orange skin, eating the acid pulp. Each time we would spit it out in sour perplexity. How could anyone eat of such a fruit? It wasn't until this year that we learned to properly eat the fruit from some wise friends who came to visit. You see, the way to eat the kumquat is to pick it off the tree, rinse it in clear water, roll the fruit gently between thumb and index finger. To mix the sweet and the bitter juices, pop it in the mouth and bite through peel and pulp, swallowing the whole. Thank you. That has been Learning to Eat the Kumquat by Solvang. I hope you enjoyed that poem. Join us tomorrow for another poem, a poem a day, and we'll some highlight some more local poets. I hope this has inspired you. Thank you for taking the, the moments to join us in this time and talk and listen to great poetry, um, learn about all the great writers. If you have any questions, please uh, comment down below or send me an email. Um, if you'd like a poet you'd like to listen to or like to hear, or if you're a poet and you'd like to, to share your work, please um, uh, let me know. My email is james.tyner, that's T-Y-N-E-R, at fresnolibrary.org. And once again, this is Poem A Day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.